Are today's youth ready to take on the fight for voting rights? I can't wait to go up that bridge. In Selma, Alabama, young Americans are walking over a bridge that has long been a symbol of defiance in the voting rights movement. Their walk comes at a time when voting rights are being threatened. I would hope my fight was one fight and his fight is another fight. And she's also younger, so she's gonna have another fight. But I want their fights and my fight to make his fight less a no fight at all. His fight, however, is just beginning. In 2021, 19 states passed restrictive voting measures that impacted access to the ballot. People like Tamara see access to the ballot as crucial to ensure their future. We know voting is a powerful thing, and we know that people try to stop progress. I am worried because, you know, if we can't pass voting rights, nothing else matters. It's a battle that reached a turning point more than half a century ago on this bridge, where black voting activists were brutally beaten by white police officers. Footage of the brutal assault was broadcast nationwide, shocking the nation and leading to the passage of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. They were marching for the most fundamental right of American citizenship, the right to vote. They were prepared for the worst. On this 57th anniversary of Bloody Sunday, after new voting rights legislation failed in Congress, the VP is promising to put the full power of the executive branch behind our shared effort. I feel like it's really significant for all Gen Z and millennials to just get out and vote and try to make a change. Even though youth voter turnout has been on the rise with an estimated half of young people aged 18 to 29 voting in the last presidential election, civil rights leaders like Bernard Lafayette, who worked with MLK Jr. and was beaten as a freedom rider, say young generations need to do more to create change. Are the younger generations today doing enough to keep up the fight? No, they are not. And this is, they haven't accomplished it yet. But what they've got to learn how to do is get the training so they can learn how to put forth the strategies for uh, bringing about the changes. For many future voters, though, watching the first woman, Black and Asian Vice President, cross the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma is inspiring. I'm going to see Kamala Harris. I'm going to be a part of the 57th walk across the bridge. I think it's just an amazing opportunity for her. She's the future. You know, she's seven years old. She's, she's smart and she listens, I want her to tap in to her inner being and just realize the power that she has as a young individual. I know his fight gonna be different from my, my fight. So, you know, we just want our future, which is our kids to not have to struggle and go through what we went through.